students today i'm going to teach you plants life lesson 5 from your chapter book okay so how do plants reproduce you know that most plants grow from seed na? that is why not only from the seed but many ways there are many ways to reproduce the plants okay plants can reproduce in many ways most of the plants that we see around us reproduce through seed. If you see the mango tree, if you go uh, orange tree, lemon, okay, then you can see that uh, from the lemon seeds comes out. From the seed, new plants grow, okay. So, many plants around us reproduce through the seed. Some plants can reproduce from body parts such as leaves, stem and root. Fern and Moses reproduce from tiny seeds like structure called spores. They have spores, little spores from the leaf and from the leaves that seeds comes out and that from that seeds new plants arise from the spores. Reproduction from the stem. You may have seen new shoots emerging. Emerging means like coming out. Okay. So the new new uh, sorry uh, new shoots emerging from potatoes or ginger stored in your kitchen. Potato and ginger are underground stems. Can these grow into new plants? Yes, they can grow. Okay, when you see in the potato, little small small eye coming out from the potatoes. Okay, take a potato and observe it carefully, and then you will find that it has several small buds on it. On the potato, we all them eyes okay that that we can call the eyes okay new plants grow from these buds from that eyes okay so the ginger plants grow from buds the onion is a bulb when you see the onion that is called bulb okay this is an underground stem and fleshy leaves new plants grow from onion bulbs sometimes farmer and gardener grow new plants from pieces of stem okay they cut the stem and make it small small pieces these pieces have one or two buds on them and are called stem cutting rose hibiscus bougainvillea sugarcane and croton can be grown from stem cuttings strawberry plants um, most of the children you know na, strawberry plants you can see this is the runner plants okay like a grass strawberry also like a runner okay this is a long stem that run along the ground. These are called runners. New plants grow from the runner. Now the reproduction from the leaves. From the leaves also the birds or little new plants coming out. The bryophyllians plants have thick and fleshy leaves. When you go around the school, when you were, if you were in the school, you can see the plants. Bryophyllium, okay. From that leaves, the new plants coming out, the ages, okay, and ages of the leaves. The leaves have buds along the edges. New plants grow from these buds. When the leaves drop down on the ground, the buds grow into the adult plant. The another one is our reproduction from the roots. Roots, the roots of some plants such as sweet potato and carrot produce new plants. Support a sweet potato in a jam bottle. When you, uh, you just take a jam bottle and you put it, okay, in the jam bottle, sweet potato full of water using toothpick just prick the um, sweet potato and keep it inside the bottle using toothpick as shown in the in the picture you can see the how they are putting the sweet potato with the toothpick okay and see after a few um, few days okay you can see the leaves coming out and even the roots also coming here okay in this uh, picture then note how many days it takes for the plants to grow and now you just note it in your you do you can do at home also and you note it down how many days it can take okay now reproduction from the seed seed you know all of you the most plants grow from seeds seeds are usually found inside the fruit they are of different types of shapes and sizes okay new plants grow when seeds fall on the soil and they germinate okay now this seed reproduction from the seed we can see the structure of a seed what what type of structure of the seed there are different types of seeds mango seeds are very big and the lemon seeds are very small but from either this small or a big 
but from the seed the plants newborn babies come out okay from the seed you can see if you take a kidney bean seed okay you can see uh, you just soak whole night okay you can see that like chana also you can take kidney bean also you take you can take any seed you can take they are hard and dry and cannot be broken easily soak this seed in a water and leave them overnight okay take soaked seed and look at it carefully is it softer and swollen up okay after after a soaking why why it is swollen up and a soft the seed absorb water that is why it is swollen and soft okay so a thick outer covering you can when you open the seed you can see the outer covering called this is called seed coat the cover part is called like a thin very thin uh, uh, cover up okay that layer okay that is called seed coat potato uh, sorry protects all seed this seed coat is protect the seeds on one side of this seed is scar scar means a permanent mark na scar like like a stain type it is called scar so this is called scar this is where the seed was attached to the fruit near the scar is a small hole you can see the kidney bean you can see when you open you can see the hole inside uh, sorry outer part of the seed one hole is there this hole allow water to enter and makes the seed swells up okay from that hole the seeds is sticking water and slowly 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 they are swells up okay or swells means like uh, what to say it's a fluffy type or smooth or softer type na carefully remove the seed coat this seed has two seed leaves called cotyledons between the cotyledon is the baby plant called the embryo the embryo contain a baby shoots and a baby root okay the seed leaves protect the baby plant they also store food for the baby plant also seed do not have two cotyledons some such as corn have only one cotyledon this is the kidney bean you can see in the diagram okay this upper part is a called a seed coat when you open the seed you can see the the fluffy or the softer part inside the seed okay this inside the seed this is called the cotyledons okay and small this baby plant this is called the embryo okay this is called embryo when you open your book you can see the diagram okay and you just understand what is the structure of the seed okay now what do seed need for what do seed need for germination when seed get through water air and warmth okay they, they, when they get the heat of water or air they grow into a new plant slowly slowly they grow they do not grow if one of these missing seed use the food stored in the cotyledons to grow the growth of a baby plant from a seed is called germination the baby plant is known as a seedling that baby plant is called a seedling by that if the seeds get the proper water proper air and the proper warmth or a heat or sunlight okay they are very easily they grow and they become a very healthy plants okay now the another topic is from this chapter is dispersal of seeds okay what is dispersal dispersal means uh, like scattering type okay the seeds scattering by the um, human beings or animals or birds anything okay they can scatter the seed from the parents plant they can take from the parents parent plant seeds and all and they are taking the seeds and throw away far away from the parents plants this is called the dispersal so many things okay many ways okay to scattering the seeds okay like wind water animal and by explosion also so the dispersal of a seed if plants grow too close each other suppose the parents plants they carry lots of fruits okay in a one tree like mango tree if you just take an example a mango tree you can see the mango lots of mango you know are there in the tree but if all the seeds fall same place they grow too many baby plants so they will not get enough water air and warmth in that place okay they are trying to pull all the every every seedlings every plants they are trying to take the water and 
uh, warmth or minerals from the soil okay and even the parent plants also try to get now but they will not get the enough proper I mean, uh, food okay that's why they become very weak so because of that they need the dispersal okay so they will not get enough space air water minerals and sunlight under this condition they cannot grow and healthy plants since a plant produces a large number of seeds nature has provided means of scattering the seeds far and wide so the crowding is reduced okay the scattering of seed away from the parent plants is called seed dispersal fruit and seed are scattered with the help of wind water animal and by explosion okay explosion of fruit explosion you know bomb explosion like a bomb explosion also the fruit also explode like a pea plant it explode okay so the wind water and animal are called agent of dispersal these are the agent okay for the dispersal first is a wind dispersal seeds that are scattered by wind are usually small and light dandelions and cotton seed have long and fine hair surrounding them when you see when you sit in the classroom you can see now one seeds one small uh, feather that's coming up you are playing also sometime with that feather that is not a feather this is the seed okay that dandelion seeds or they are very light in wet that is why they are flying okay surrounding them this make it easy for the wind to carry the seeds away some seeds such as maple and drum sticks have wings attached to them which help them float in air okay the next one is a water dispersal seed of plants that grow in our near flowing water may be dispersed by water like these plants have fruit seeds that can float in water for example water lily lotus coconut these are the example of the water dispersal the coconut fruit has air trapped in between this husk that makes it light and easy to float water carry this fruit uh, fruits and seeds far away from the parent plants next is a animal dispersal animal dispersal is very important we enjoy eating fleshy fruits now we are eating lemon then sometimes uh, orange sometimes mango different types of fruits we are eating and after eating we taking out the uh, seeds and just throwing here and there this is the main we are the agent and we are the main agent okay and, and even the birds also so mango papaya cherry and guava after eating we throw the seeds away this is one way of helping plants to disperse their seeds birds and animal also eat seeds along with fruits these seeds are small and hard and they come out from the body of waste from the waste stage okay when they pass the uh, waste stage from there from that waste stage the seeds are coming out out and ready to grow seeds of guava and berries are dispersed in this way some seeds have stiff hair like spine or hook stack okay this enable their seeds to stick our clothes or body of animal and are carried long distance some fruits to have special hook like structure that cling cling means to stick okay to stuck with the other animal or other clothes okay so to the fur or skin of animal now the explosion of a seed explosion phat na okay zor se that is called fruit of plants such as balsam pea geranium and touch me not touch me not you know na touch me not when you touch the plant they close their leaves okay that is called touch me not brush open or explode when they are dry scattering the seed away from the mother plant when they when the seeds become dry after drying they explode very hardly and the seeds go throwing here and there from the sorry far away from the parent plants okay today up to this much and your homework is you just read page number 37 and 38 okay you just read it about the crops and summer crop winter crops what is summer crops you just learn in summer crops are called kharif crops and the winter crops are called rabi crops you just differentiate between these two and learn it nicely about kharif crops and rabi crops okay you read it and learn it these two pages 
And another homework is that your exercise, page number 39, question number A, B, C, you do it in your home, okay? In the book, no, okay? Thank you. Stay home, stay safe, do it for yourselves, do it for your family, do it for India. Let's break the chain of COVID-19. Hum hum ye kamyab, jai hind.